Hello, dear friends. As you may see, my Christmas tree is still here, but I'm back to work. And today I want to show you one very special custom order I worked on this autumn. I waited so long because it was a secret uh, Christmas gift. <laughs> so now, after holidays, I can finally show it to you. Usually people ask me to draw animals, but this time my customer asked to paint a garden gnome, these mushrooms. It was something absolutely new to me, I never painted gnomes before and I was excited to try. First of all, I made three fast sketches to choose a pose. My customer picked the third one, we discussed how to change it and I made the daily digital sketch. This step is very important, especially if you paint something with no reference photo, so you can't check shades and lights and colors. This is why I made it so detailed. After finishing the sketch, I transferred it to trace paper. You may find a detailed explanation on this process in my tutorial. It's absolutely free, all what you need to get it, subscribe on my newsletter. I will leave the link in the video description. When my sketch is transferred on the stone, it's time to blur it and start to paint the lighter spots. Now I can add shadows. At this stage I can add colors. I do it gradually because of this painting technique. By the way, I subscribed to my channel. If yes, thank you so much. And if not, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you may give me a thumbs up and hit the bell button to not miss the next videos. Here I added mushrooms on the background and I finally can start to work on details. Even I speed up this video, it still takes about 20 minutes, uh, but as I think, it's too much for YouTube. And if I would speed up it even more, it would be unwatchable at all. So I cut almost a half. I'm not sure where I could show my work process in our video. Maybe one day I will make a Patreon and people who want to learn how to paint will watch it. But it's my dream about the future. I think this pendant is a very important step in my artist career, because it was something absolutely new. As I said, I've never painted gnomes before. On one hand, they don't have certain proportions as human, so you can unleash your imagination. But on the other hand, you need to paint a tiny old man who looks nice, not too sweet and not too real. It was challenging and remind me how important it is to try something new for yourself. New theme, new media, new technique. Don't stuck in your comfort zone. It's not always too scary to leave it. I couldn't say I struggled with this work. It was a pleasure to paint something magical, like in the fairy tales I heard when I was a child, about a tiny forest old man who looks after forest mushrooms. 
When you come to mushroom hunt, you need ask him to find a good place. But if you make him angry by breaking trees and poisoned mushroom or leaving trash, you will find nothing. I think it was a nice tale to teach kids to care about nature. Also, I didn't paint mushroom often, maybe only this one. So it also was interesting, especially because I painted so many different kinds of them here. My favorite are chanterelle. They are so tasty. But honestly, I don't really like mushroom hunt, maybe because of my bad sight, it's too hard for me to find something. What about you? Do you like to pick mushrooms or maybe wild berries? One important thing about painting on stones is, if it possible, use them not only as a canvas, but as a background and try to include it in your painting. This stone is a perfect example. The brown part on the left side looks like a tree trunk and the slightly transparent right side perfect to show foggy forest violet. These details make your painting look really deep. Well, the pendant is almost finished. I added some final touches and dew drops. They are perfect to show how tiny is this gnome. And here is the final look. I hope this video was interesting. Let me know what do you think about it in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos.